Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. The national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, and other leaders of the party in Southwest have paid a visit to President Muhammadu Buhari over the death of Nigeria's Chief of Army Staff Ibrahim Atahiru and 10 other military officers in a plane crash. The visit, which was held at the President's official residence, was to pay condolences over last Friday's air crash. Earlier, the President had said the deaths of Atahiru and the 10 other military officers will increase Nigeria's security challenges. And members of the Lagos State House of Assembly have opposed the total scrapping of a public office holder payment of pension law of 2007, which ensures payment of pensions and other be benefits to former governors and their deputies. The Lagos State House of Assembly read for a second time a bill that seeks to repeal the law to provide for the payment of pensions and other fringe benefits to public office holders in Lagos State and for other connected matters. The lawmakers argue that it would not be too good to repeal the law in its entirety as there were some important sections and stipulations that should be considered. Federal State Governor Samuel Autumn has asked the federal government to count Benway State out of its planned rehabilitation of Grazing Reserve. Reacting to a statement issued by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garba Shehu, on the plan of the federal government to commence rehabilitation of grazing reserves in the country, Autumn said there is absolutely no land in the state that had been procured for grazing reserves. He expressed dismay on why the federal government is still pushing on what he described as an archaic policy, stressing that the presidency has a hidden agenda. And four people have been arrested in Indonesia for allegedly stealing COVID-19 vaccines marked for prisoners and selling them to the public. The suspects took more than 1,000 doses made by China's Sinovac from the prisoners' quarter, offering them to buyers at the capital Jakarta and in North Sumatra's Medan city for around $17 each. The four arrested include a doctor at a prison in Medan and a local health official, and they could face a life sentence if convicted under Indonesia's anti-corruption law. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, Babayo Addo, says the federal government is working to ensure the completion of the East-West Road. Addo made a disclosure during his inspection of the Section 4 Eket Bypass Dual Carriageway and Eket Oron Road of the East-West Road in Akwaibom State. According to him, the ministry would spend 70% of its 2021 budget towards the completion of the project in line with the directives of President Muhammadu Buhari to ensure the project was completed before the first quarter of 2022. A United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres has demanded the immediate release of Mali's President Ba Nda and Prime Minister Mokhtar Owain, who have been detained by soldiers. Nda and Owain have been leading an interim government which took power after a military coup in August 2020 and were detained just hours after a government reshuffle in which two army officers who took part in the coup were replaced. The African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, the EU and the U.S. have also condemned the arrest, saying Mali's top politicians must be released without any preconditions. And in sports, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will attempt to win his first trophy as Manchester United's manager in Wednesday's Europa League final against Villarreal. Having helped United secure successive top four finishes for the first time since Alex Ferguson retired after the last of the club's Premier League title in 2013, Solskjaer hopes to, to now end their four-year wait for a silverware. And that's all on the newsroom. We will be back at the top of the hour with more updates. Many thanks for watching.